All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, and Kakudash. I want to honor to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Who rule well and teach well, being good as I'm touching on brothers. And peace and blessings to those full elect. Hello, well, I'm a part of that number. All right, I'm the brother Kudar from the GMS Brown Chicago. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be entitled Two Thirds Won't Get It, No Matter What. And um, the reason why and uh, the reason why I made this video is just because you know, it was a class, you know, talking about it, all right, and it just sparked this lesson, all right. <clears throat> uh, the first precept I wanted to grab was Matthew 13 and 10. It says, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, the 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 way the, the scriptures are, you know, sometimes in, in parables, you got a lot of metaphors, you know, it, it got a lot of uh, hard sayings. All right, and everyone can't understand this. You can pick it up and read from um, from Genesis to Second Maccabees or Re to Revelation. Well, they're not reading uh, the Apocrypha, <laughs> so from they think that's not canon. But um, so they gonna read from Genesis to to, to Revelation. You know, and you could read it front and back back and front but if the lord is not dealing with you then you won't have no understanding you know you'll just be deceived and believe in whatever uh you believe you know but you won't have the full truth you won't have the truth at all all right this is only for a select few all right the lord's the lord opens up our mind to actually receive this man all right the whole world doesn't know the lord's name the whole world doesn't know who's the true people of the lord the whole world doesn't know who's which race is the cancer of this earth? All right? The whole world doesn't know the Lord's real name. Okay, what color was he? All right, who are the Gentiles? What is the the uh, the uh, the mark? All right, M-O-T-B. Okay? The, the, the world doesn't know. Our people doesn't know why... <clears throat> They're in the in the uh, condition they are in right now, all right. They just think that's how life is, you know. But there's a reason why we suffering like this. There's a reason why our people are in the the, the ghettos, the the favelas, the the um the reservations, man. Okay. This is um. Uh, but but you know, on top of that, we do though. We actually understand that, but that's because. The Lord is dealing with us, man. All right, so this is um, First Timothy four and one. Now, <clears throat> the Spirit speak of expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith. So some people gonna fall out, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. You know they gonna fall out and start uh, uh preaching and believing uh bugged out doctrines, man. Such as we are in a, in a new covenant right now. You know uh um, uh, you know just twisting up the doctrine, man. You know. But like I said in my last video, that's the default bug out doctrine. You know, the, the new covenant doctrine, man. All right. That's the default bug out doctrine. Anybody who's coming out saying that is, isn't a man of the Lord, man. Because it's clear, scripture-wise, we are not, you know. Man, physically-wise, you know, shit, we not in the new bodies. All right. Shit, I'm sick right now. <laughs> the fuck? You know, um... This is, uh, I'm going to continue to read. It says, verse 2, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. You know, so no matter how much information we can give to these people, no matter how much facts we can, articles, uh, scriptures, first and foremost scriptures, then articles and historical records to, to back it up, they still won't understand or they still won't accept it. All right, because the Lord is simply not dealing with them. They are the ones that the Lord rejected. All right, they are the brute beasts. All right, made to be destroyed. All right, when you when you look up that word, when you go into that word brute beast, it goes into unreasonable. All right, um, but I, I posted this picture right here. Uh, it's what Esau calls cognitive dissonance. All right, but you know Esau always has his own definitions of things. You know, try to explain things the scientific way, quote unquote. Um. But, you know, simply the Lord just blocked them from receiving the truth, man. You know, but um, <clears throat> this is the definition. It says cognitive dissonance. This is why people get upset when their beliefs are challenged. 
It says a mental conflict occurs when beliefs are contradicted by new information. This conflict activates areas of the brain involved in personal identity and emotional response to threats. The brain's alarm go off when a person feels threatened on a deeply personal and emotional level, causing them to shut down and disregard any rational evidence that contradicts what they previously regarded as truth. All right? So no matter how much evidence we give them that <coughs> that we are the people of the Lord, they still accept Cesare Borgia. All right, J.C. Our cheesy rice. Okay, that that's that's what they accept. All right, because that's what they've been uh, uh, taught to believe uh, since they were children, man. Straight out the womb, you believe this this weak ass nigga is your god, man. You know. And you know, and not even just that JC, you Kemet niggas, not any anybody that's not in the truth, man. That's the Israelite. All right. Um. <laughs> So like it. This is um. Second uh, Ezra fifteen, one. Behold, speak down in the, in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. All right. So these are the Lord's words, and the and He's um. Uh, 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 authorized it in the in the the men of the Lord. All right. Get that get that word. All right, and they write it down. All right, they they publish it. All right, as it says in uh, Psalm 68 and 11, it says that verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. The, the Lord's words are faithful and true. And these aren't our words, man. These are the Lord's words. All right? That's why we don't get offended for anyone. Uh, um, we don't get offended at anyone who doesn't believe the truth because you don't have to. All right? These are the Lord's words. And if you reject them, the, the word... You rejecting the prophets and you rejecting the Lord. Nothing much needs to be said. It says, um, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." All right, we could just go into this word incredulity. All right, because it's always new listeners. It says, "Incredulity, disbelief." It says, "Lack of belief, unbelief, lack of credence, doubtfulness." All right, so unbelief. All right, Romans three and three. So what if some did not believe? Okay, so we don't care if you if you don't believe this thing, man. This is still the truth, no matter what you believe. Uh, I'm gonna grab that really quick. Romans um three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man is a liar. As it is written, that thou might be justified in thy sins, that mightest overcome what thou art just. Hey, these are the Lord's words, whether you like it or not. You know, this is still the truth, whether you accept it or not. All right, but guess, but guess what? The Lord blocked them with their consciousness with a seed of high, high iron. All right? They can't receive the truth because it's an angel blocking them, man, from receiving it. All right? So, um, it's the final precept. This is on Matthew 13 and 25. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. All right, so these people are blocked from knowing the truth, man. It's not meant for them. This truth isn't, isn't um, uh, um, I meant for everybody, man. It says their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have closed. They can't see. They can't understand this truth, man. All right? So what we got to do is continue to preach, all right, and feed the sheep because there are listeners waking up, all right, and the elect is, is going to continue to wake up, man. We not worried about the two-thirds, man. Hey, if 50 niggas watching us and talking shit, but one person wake up, I got 50... Uh, um, People talking shit. All right. Hey, that, that's that's what we do it for, man. All right, we're here to wake up the elect. All right, so um, Lord willing, that was the edifying video. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Don't want us to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the full elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Shalom, Wam, and the Bible Ball.